The major difference between posts and pages in WordPress is the fact that pages are a little bit more static in nature. You cannot categorize pages. They are intended to be basic pieces of content that don't change that often. However, posts on the other hand are intended to be more of a time sensitive bit of content that you can post at any given time, you can schedule for publishing at any given date in the future, or you can even publish live as you attend an event or as your inspiration arises. Since WordPress originated as a blogging system, the posts feature is the heart of the content management system. If you are creating a conventional website, however, you may not even need this feature unless you're creating a section related to news and events or a blog section within your primary website. So let's take a look at the posts first. Let's hover our mouse over the post area in our dashboard and select all posts. This will display a list of all available posts on your website. To create a new post, click the add new button. Creating a new post is very easy. It's almost like creating content in a conventional word processing software. We will provide a title for this post and then we create our content. And that's really all there is to it. If you press the show hide kitchen sink option, you get additional options. You can do things like select a word and make it bold or you can select another piece of text and change the color. You can create links by selecting a bit of text, pressing the link button, typing in the URL of the place you want to send your audience to and press the add link button. You can adjust the alignment of your text, center to the right to the left. You can even do additional display options, for example, a header. We can place our cursor on this line of text and in the formatting pull-down menu, select heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, and so on. So let's go ahead and create a post that's a little bit more realistic. All right, to add a picture, we click the Add Media button. You can move the window to the side and grab any picture from your desktop and drag it onto the screen. Once the picture has been uploaded, you have additional options. Let's press the Insert into Post button to continue. Let's change this to a header type number 2. And let's make this link clickable. We'll click on the Insert Edit Link button and give it a link, tell, colon, and then our phone number. We'll click the Add Link button and now this link becomes active. We'll select this bit of text, format it to be aligned in the center. We'll do this for the picture as well and maybe even for the header. How about some italic text? Once we are satisfied with our content, we will select the category. In this instance, we'll select News. We will then hit the Publish button. To view your post, you can click the View Post link. And this is what our page looks like. Because this is a post, it automatically has a comment section for people to leave their comments in. Click the Post Comment button and we're good to go. Now this is the way a typical post behaves. Let's go back to our dashboard. 
pages, on the other hand, are a bit more static in nature. Okay, these are intended to be things for such things like services, contact us, products, and other things of that nature that you want to be present on the front menu area that will comprise the primary areas of your website. So now let's click the pages option inside of your dashboard. We'll hover our mouse over the pages option and click all pages. This will show us a listing of all the pages available on our website. Let's create a couple of new pages. About us. We're just going to type some random text in here for now. Hit the publish button. Let's add another page. Click the add new button. We will do the same thing, just add some random text right now just so we can have something in there. You would edit this content the same way you would edit the content in your posts. If your theme has different templates, you can select it from this option. We'll click the publish button to continue. And let's add one more page. We'll click the add new page button to continue. Hit publish to continue. And we're good to go. We now have, at the very least, four pages on our website. To delete a page, simply place a check mark next to the page that you don't want. And from the pull down menu, select Move to Trash. Click the Apply button to continue. If for some reason you change your mind about that page, you can go into the Trash section and restore it. However, if we go to the page we want to delete and send it to the trash again, and we want to make sure that this page stays gone, we can delete it permanently by clicking the Delete Permanently option. Let's go back to the Pages list. Okay, so now that we have three pages, Let's take a look at our website. We'll refresh it a bit. Notice that since we added three new pages, our pages are located on the main menu. Now this of course might be different depending on the theme you are using. Let's go to the About Us page. We'll click on the Gallery page and the Services page. Now let's go back to our dashboard. Depending on the theme that you are using, you might have different options on the way the menu system works, but if you go to Appearance and then select Menus, you can actually create a brand new menu system. We'll call this one Default. Click the Create Menu button. The particular theme that I am currently using has two main menu areas. We want this default menu to appear in the top primary menu section. Let's click the Save Menu button. Now we tell the system what options we want on this default menu. We want the Gallery page, the Services page, and the About Us page. So now we will click the Add to Menu button. If we want to include the posts as part of the menu, we can go to the category section and include everything that has content in it. Right now, we only have one post inside of our news area. So we're going to select news and add that to our menu. But we're also going to tweak this by a little bit, maybe call it blog. When we are ready to proceed, we'll click the save menu button. And now we'll take a look at our website. Click the refresh button to continue. And our menu system has changed. Here we have our gallery page, our services page, our about us page, and we also have our blog page which is actually a category that is controlled by posts. So congratulations, you now know how to manage, edit, and create pages and posts in your WordPress installation.